Virgin Radio, I am Jane Middlemas. Very, very, very excited to say the man sat opposite me right now in the studio is the one and only Guy Garvey of Elvo. Guy, it's so lovely to it's see you. It's lovely to see you too, Jane. Do you it's know, been a long time. It's been a long time. Do you know the last time I think I saw you mm. was when we both did Never Mind the Buzzcocks? Oh, God, and Lamar was being horrible. <laughs> you were <clears throat> yeah. You were there. He was being horrible, horrible to, you. to me. Yeah, he was. Really, really horrible. Bullying you, basically. Bullying. Yeah, bullying. Yeah. It was really, it was really, really intense. Mm. And uh, he did apologise to me. I'm glad to hear yeah, that. Yeah, years later, like, yeah. you know, at a festival, but it was really horrible that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was a bad sitch. Um, but <laughs> let's get on to better things. You are here <laughs> in my Virgin Radio studio because you have got your 10th studio album out today. Yeah. Talk to me about it. Well, that means I'm thinking about it. I think I was launching my second there with wow. Elbow. So that was 2003. That's how long it is since we've seen each other. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> yeah. It's 21 called, years. It's called Audio Vertigo. It's um, uh, it's quite a rocker. The, the, the previous album was very subtle. Mm-hmm. It was made separately uh, during COVID, and then we recorded it together in a, uh, the Brighton Theatre Royal while it was closed, which was magic. Mm. But a very subtle record. And this time, because we could be together, um, yeah, we were back around the drum kit with our amplifiers. And our, our drummer, Al, who's been in the band for seven years now, still the new boy, um, he said, can I, can I get more involved with the writing? And we, we sort of went, oh, you know, <laughs> 33 years as a band, so we were like, oh. Yeah. And then... Uh, he brought his youthful exuberance to the whole thing. I so love that. it's just brilliant. And I can't wait to get out and play it. I mean, the thing with Elbow is you have, I mean, you've just said 33 years. You, mm. you're, you're sort of, you're part of the UK music establishment here now. Yeah, I, I mean, do so. you sort of feel like a sort of elder statesman every time you bring out an album and you're sort of like presenting it to us? Yeah, but there's an element of like, are we still allowed to do this? <laughs> and plus, I, I have a writing room at the Dairy and an awful lot of the people that I meet there on a regular basis are a couple of decades younger than me, you mm. know, three decades younger than me in some cases. Mm. It's, you know, and it's normally like, oh, my dad loves you, <laughs> <laughs> which is fine. Um, and things are so much tougher for young artists coming through now than, than they were for us. Um, and sometimes management and labels put too much pressure on them, which is how to kill a golden goose. Um, and yeah, occasionally they'll ask me my experience, they'll ask me my advice. So yeah, I do end up feeling like a, a little bit of an elder statesman. Because it has changed, you know. You, you know, I think you know, ten studio albums speaks for itself. And I think now people, it's all about you know, we need the hits. We just need hit after hit after hit. And you know, with bands like yourself, you've been allowed to grow. And I yeah. think that brings the music it makes it deeper. It makes it richer. Yeah. It makes it stronger. Yeah. And how have you managed to stay together that long? I mean, that is like a big long marriage, man, guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, we've brought somebody younger in to spice it up. <laughs> um, you've got to do what you've got to do, do, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like um, they're just they're gentlemen. We're really lucky. We've always said this. One of, one of the very basic practical reasons that we stay together is that we all get paid the same. Yeah. Another reason is we all find sleep deprivation hilarious, which is not a given. It's quite lucky. And then the other thing more recently is approaching middle age. I know a lot of guys who've got insanely grumpy or just outwardly angry, mm-hmm. you know, and, and everyone in Elbow's kind of mellowed into their best selves. Yeah, it's, it's like they're all lovelier than ever. You've always been quite mellow, though, Guy. I mean, your voice has got the ability to bring, you know, grown men to tears. I mean, I'm always in floods whenever I hear you. I Thank mean, you, you just have that. You touch the sweet spot. You're just so beautiful uh, to like to hear. And I think, really, I, it's really interesting. Your wife has got a play out as well today, hasn't she? She has. She's, she's opening a, a brand new play called The Divine Mrs. S., which is a comedy about uh, a character called uh, Sarah Siddons, who's she's the first actress to take care of her public image by having a portrait painted a lot. And, and she was managed by a brother, and there's all that kind of uh, exploitation you can imagine. But she was a proper Shakespearean actress, and people would 
pass out during her performances. And anyway, this thing's like a blackadder comedy about this woman. Yeah. And it means my wife is in a period costume for the whole thing, <laughs> in which she looks wicked. Oh, um, I love that for you. Yeah, it's You're at the like... Hampstead Theatre for a month, and <sighs> tickets are between 10 and 40 quid. Look at you doing so, her PR for yeah, her I'm as well. Yeah, I'm getting the brownie You're points. You're just in. getting the brownie points for tonight. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving it. Well, Guy, it's absolutely beautiful to see you. I think we need to hear you in action. Thank you. I think you. we need to bring grown men to tears. <laughs> but uh, we're looking forward to hearing this album, and good luck with it. Great to see you, Jay. You too. Virgin Radio.